so hi everyone today we will be discussing about how a conditional random field that is crf works for extracting named entity uh, named entities from a given text so let's uh, set up a basics first ki what is name entity recognition what is information extraction what is a crf and then we will eventually using an example we will know how conditional random fields works so what is information extraction first of all information extraction refers to extracting important information from a given text from a given long text now this can be name of a person name of an industry some time a particular some venue this is some information we might wish to extract and this is called as info information extraction now named entity recognition is part of information extraction uh, when we say named entities uh, we wish to uh, pick out proper nouns that is name of a person name of a country name of some organization or anything that can be given a specific name like for example ramesh works at google now here there are two entities present ramesh that is a person's name and google that is an organization name so you can see that uh, we can assign tags like this a person name can be given a tag as per organization org location loc geopolitical entity as gpe etc etc now in any of there are uh, two to three major problems that we may face one is segmentation ambiguity uh, so let me uh, give you an example assume that we have a sentence uh, new york is the best city to live in now if you notice here there are two words that combine together to form a single entity that is the name of a city that is new and york now to train such a system that in that consider these two words as a single entity is a bit difficult uh, now the second ambiguity that comes is is tag assignment that is when the same name can have different meanings for example nirma in india uh, can be a name of a girl as well and a very famous washing brand as well similarly apple can be the name of a fruit and, and tech organization also going ahead uh, there are any multiple ways using which we can go for named entity recognition that is the most common one being linear crfs uh, maximum entropy markov models or bialystem uh, so we would be discussing about how a crf works for named entity recognition for now as you can see in the definition given a linear chain crf confers to a labeler in which tag assignment for the present word depends only on the tag of the previous word so for example if we have a long sentence like for example we have the sentence crf is among the most prominent approach used for any year and we wish to get an uh, a tag for used so it's uh, the crf considers the tag of its previous word to confer a tag for the current word alongside some feature functions so let's understand what are the different steps required in a crf so the first step in uh, required is deciding over the feature functions so what are feature functions a feature function is a function that is built over a partic uh, particular words uh, word level features used for generate word level features for example uh, feature functions can be is first letter capital how many uh, like count is vowel present uh, is it a uh, present in some gazetteer the given word word embedding of a word uh, presence of a hyphen in the word etc so these are small small functions you can understand uh that intakes a word and gives you an output uh, depending upon it that are help us that helps us to build features over words right so if we input a word we would get a set of different features for that word, whether first letter is capital uh, false or true uh, whether uh, vowels are present false or true whether there is a particular prefix present in the word like uh like uh in or un whether a, a suffix is present like ed or ing etc so these are the features that we wish to build over the different words that we are getting right uh, we would be skipping an uh, explanation over different uh, uh, feature functions like feature functions are dependent upon the developer he can choose as many feature function as he wish to have now let's take an example and let's understand how crs works or uh, using like how can uh, feature functions are calculated over uh, a given sentence and how crs calculates the probability of a given uh, tag sequence for example we have a sentence called as ram is cool like 
and the named entity labels for this particular sentence is P E R O and O. So let's understand first of all the output. P E R refers to a person entity that we have uh, that we have found. That is the name of a person. Ram is the name of a person. Is and cool has got uh, uh, tags as O. So what is O? O refers to that the words are not a named entity. Uh, I would suggest you to go to my last video about IOB tagging, where you can understand what does O stands for. So in this given sentence, we have an entity Ram, and there are two words that are not an entity. That is why the uh, the correct sequence that we wish to predict is P E R O and O. So let's understand how it will work out. So each feature function has this particular signature, as you can see, F X comma Y comma uh, Y minus one. Comma i. So let's understand what is the signature. X refers to particular sentence that we have. That is Ram is cool. Y refers to the tag of the current word. So like what tag we can calculate. Like for example, O. Uh, for uh, like if we are considering uh, i equals to two i is the last one. That is the index. So if if Ram is cool and we have an i equals to two, that means the last word. Uh, we are not considering that from mathematical or like from a uh, computer science perspective. In general, we'll uh, if we start counting from uh, one, two, and three as an index, so is is the second word that we are getting. So let's assume that we are trying to calculate the fe some feature function x for the word is. So the signature would look something like this: Ram is cool. That is x. That is the name of the uh, that is the sentence. Y is the current words. Tag that we uh, that we are trying to uh, predict the probability for uh, y minus one is the tag for the previous word that we are trying to calculate uh, that we uh, that we assume in the sequence and two is the index. So let's uh, now understand what is the entire major equation that is followed in CRF. So this is the uh, equation that we follow up in CRF. So probability of y given x equals to this is very very important exponential summation over j w j f j x comma y upon summation of uh, y hat exponential summation j y j f j x comma y hat. So this is a very dangerous equation, and I guess uh, we might take some time to understand it. Uh, so let's understand this very dangerous looking equation. So uh, starting off with f j x uh, x comma y refers to the function signature that I already told you. That is Summation over a small f j y i minus one y i x i. So let's very easily let's try to understand what does this entire f j x comma y means. So it means uh, that we are trying to calculate a particular feature function for all the words in the given sentence, right? For example, we have feature function is vowel. Now it it returns us a value zero or one. So we are trying to calculate by this. It means that we are trying to calculate uh, the summation value of that particular function for all the words. So, for example, if we have a sentence "Ram is cool" and we have a feature function uh, is uh, is capital, is first letter capital. So the this value would be one because Ram has a capital letter. It's first letter. That means uh, it will give an output as one. And the rest of the two word is cool will give an output as zero. So one plus zero plus zero equals to one. So Just try to understand that this is a summation of the values of a given feature function for all the words in the given sentence. Now, what is WJ? WJ is the weights assigned to different feature functions. So, for example, uh, in any system, uh, we would wish to give out uh, some uh, more uh, importance to a particular feature as compared to some other feature. So, WJ refers to that, and this summation is over. Different feature functions. So for different feature functions, like assume that we have ten feature functions: is is vowel present, is consonant present, is first letter capital, etc. Uh, we are trying to calculate this value f j x comma y. That is the summation of a given feature function for all the words and summating them all together. Right. So if we have ten feature functions, we will be calculating each feature function for all the words and then adding them together. Now. What does this uh, denominator means? In the denominator, you can see there are two summations going on. So the first summation, the inside, the inner summation is similar to the summation that is above, but the outer summation has a y hat in the equation. 
so it refers to the value that we get for every possible y so if we look on the left hand side we are trying to calculate the probability of a given tag sequence given the sentence so for example uh, we are trying to like for example if we consider y can be uh, have different values so we are trying to calculate for each tag sequence given the sentence what is the probability right now this y can be p e r o o this can be o o o this can be uh, o r g o o o so makes sense we are trying to calculate the probability for all the possible feature fun uh, all the possible sequ uh, tag sequences that can be possible given the sentence x right and uh, based out of that we are trying to calculate these functions as well so y hat is the uh, now the denominator is the summation of all the possible sequences uh, over which we are trying to run this uh, fj summation so in the numerator we are considering just that particular sequence for which we wish to calculate the probability and in the denominator we are considering all the possible sequences that can be possible and their summation a bit difficult to understand but i guess you would get it soon so as i will show you the example so if you look at here if you if you are trying to calculate uh, uh, f uh the probability for this particular sequence p e r p e r l o c as i said you they can be um, many possible sequences that can happen right so assume that this is one of the sequences for which we are trying to calculate the probability given ram is cool so the numerator would look something like this exponential summation of j w j summation over f j ram is cool p e r p e r l o c now this capital f j if you remember is the summation of uh, all the words uh, of of some feature uh, function x for all the words and that is why uh, we are uh, and summation is running over for all the function all the feature functions now if you look in the denominator it would a bit easier to understand that we are adding up the pos the probability for uh, the summation values for each and every possible sequence that is present like you can see a ram school o o o ram school v e o r g o ram school p r o r g or etc etc so in the numerator it's only that particular sequence for which we are trying to calculate the probability is considered in case of denominator we are considering all the possible sequences now as you know that uh, the actual sequence tag sequence should be p e r o as we discussed earlier so out of the probability we are calculating for all the sequences this particular sequence that is probability for p e r o o given ram is cool should be the highest right now uh, one thing that we have missed as of now is how we are calculating the weights w j that we have mentioned earlier in the equation if you remember uh, alongside uh, feature functions w j so how is this getting calculated uh, it is getting trained actually so we are uh, doing some sort of a training Uh, over the CR using some training data and weight updation has been done using gradient descent only over this particular equation. We won't be deep diving into the derivatives and all, so it's just for an understanding that how CRFs work out. Thanks so much.